today I'm going to be shaving with the Valley Auto Stripe VC1, VC01 or VC1. The blade's not in. I'm going to show you how to put the blade in in just a minute. But I'm going to be using a uh, Labella soaked fig tree. And uh, what I did is I took it out and put it in this little, this used to be my lather bowl. I kind of pressed it in the bottom of that. This is a little bit too small for me to load my brush in. And I decanted my the veg, uh, vegetal, and put it in this glass bottle yesterday. So that's pretty neat, so I had to use it. It's a Frank's hot sauce, if you're wondering. Worked pretty good. And I'll be using my uh, limited edition Italian Barber Samog bore brush. I'm going to be face lathering today. Trying it out. Alright, so on this little guy right here, there's a slit. And so that's why this will take any blade, any SE blade. All you got to do is just take the spine off. This is a feather. And though there's still just a little bit of glue or wax on this, these come with a lot of wax. And what I do to get it off, it's still some on there, but there was a, there, it comes with a lot. What I do is I get my water real hot and run it up under, and I take the old blade and just scrape across it a few times, and it comes right off. So if you notice, there's a, there's a slot on this side, and all you do is push it in. I'm very mindful of the blade. And so there's a little play and I, I like to kind of get it get in there straight. Make sure it's pushed all the way down. And uh, you just lift and it's on there. Now this side's boogered up a little bit. So I'm hoping I have it straight. But as you can see, there's not a lot of room uh, between the blade and the edge of the combs. Nice gap. So we're going to see how this, I'm, I'm really excited about trying this out. Yeah. All right, so uh, I'll load my brush up and get the face ladder. All right, so I got my brush loaded up. Now anytime you press it down in there, it's going to start building the lather. And a lot of that's just airy bubbles. You can use it. Uh, I'm not going to use all of it. I'm going to grab just some of it. And um, try it with this. Now, if you never use Labella soaps, they're, they're great soaps. It's a uh, towel based. Somebody gave me this sample. I just hadn't got around to using it. I haven't had a scent yet that I don't like of Labella soaps. And uh, they're based in Pennsylvania. has a get a hint of a see it sling out there get a hint of some kind of citrus or something it's got a sweet smell and then a woodsy using this razor for the first time I wanted something with a tallow base that's why I'm using this just for the slickness, and I know Labella has a lot of slickness and cushion. I had to clean up my mess. That slung a soap all the way across there. Alright, let's try this out. I 
can tell the blade the blade's really close to the edge. Doesn't take much of an angle. Went ahead and used a new blade. Feels pretty good. Well, <laughs> this thing does great. So as far as aggression goes, this is uh I don't know, it's more it can be aggressive, but it's more like a straight. Whereas you got more of the blade on you. As long as you hold the um the angle right. It's not, it's not aggressive, but it's smooth. I don't know. I, I think this this is completely different than um than the VC3. Let's go across the grain. I'm not really feeling. Anything but the blade is it's more it's, it's a lot like a straight. I get more feedback with the VC three. It's a different aggression. I don't know. When I think of, of aggressive, I think of like the R41 or the uh, Super Speed Red Tip. Uh, those are really aggressive for me. Because of the way the blade is being held. This is just straight up pretty much a blade. Oh, uh, Rick on brush and soap and blade said this was a uh, straight razor on a stick. And uh, I see what he says. I understand him now. Shaving with this. Because the VC3 is, you know, it's just like any other SC. You feel the, um, the comb. I'm going to say this is probably going to shave a lot like a rolls razor. As soon as, as soon as I get my rolls up and ready and running. By the way, this brush done a lot better today. Face lather. Let's go against the grain. 
This soap is really good. I, I, I really like the scent. It's got a sweet kind of citrus and then a woodsy scent. I can't pick anything out. There's some familiar scents in there, but uh, it's something new. Uh, I might have to look into getting this. This is nice. So right here I have some really, really coarse hairs. And I can usually tell how good, how close a shave is just by right there. And um, this is a really close shave. This is a, this is a razor to keep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed this. I polished this up yesterday. That's what Maz, M-A-A-S, will do. Scrubbing bubbles, whitening toothpaste, and a toothbrush. And that's, uh, it's got a little bit of plate loss up in there and stuff. But, uh, overall it looks really good. Really good razor, except for that booger up right there. Much bigger. I'm gonna get washed up. I get my final thoughts. All right, so I got everything cleaned up. Uh, this limited edition Italian barber brush uh, worked really well. This is just like the uh, 1305. Different um, hairs in it, but these are. These are not dyed to look like a, a badger. It's the main difference. Worked really good on face lather, and that's what I'm going to use this one for for now. Uh, this, uh, this vegetal, see how it is decanted. little jewel uh, very easy to clean <laughs> on both sides of the blade uh, if you don't have one of these I'd suggest get one it's uh, I got a little bit of irritation right here and I think right here because I just hit it the wrong angle might have some right there this is this is a this is a lot more like a straight you've uh, you gotta treat this one 
with a little knowledge. So next time I'll know to go a little bit on light handed on some of these places. But it shaved great. This is a this is a straight razor shave right here, just as close as any of my straight razors will do. Uh, highly recommend. Let me uh, let me buy them up before y'all start buying them up. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot. Uh, tell you about Fig Tree, Labella soaps. Very good. Highly recommended. Uh, it's got a, like I said, a sweet, citrusy, uh, woodsy, more citrusy and sweet than woodsy, but um, kind of like a fig tree, I guess. Um, I, for some reason, I had fern in my in my mind. I even wrote that down in my little calendar when I was planning out the week. <laughs> I do that weird. But, I wrote fern, this is actually a fig tree, so to come to think about it, figs, it does smell like figs and a tree. So, uh, sorry, I, I can get airheaded. I used to be a blonde. But, uh, yeah, this fig tree smells a lot like figs. So, uh, highly recommended. It's a good tallow base, good cushion, good slickness. Perfect for uh, a straight razor on a stick. Got a wonderful day.